All right, today, guys, we are hauling hay. So we're going to be using two different uh, ways of methods of moving it. Uh, we have uh, a 2005 Dodge 3500 with a Cummins diesel engine, which is my truck that's been featured on some previous videos with a gooseneck trailer. And then there's going to be a 7610 John Deere tractor with a loader that's actually going to be loading us, and it's got a hay trailer on the back of it. So with no more to say i guess uh hope you guys enjoy the video we're going to be moving i think there's about 70 some bales here and we're going to hopefully be moving them today so stay tuned and uh hope you guys enjoy all right so the first thing we got to do uh as we're waiting for justice is coming with the tractor i gotta get some paint i can get it here and we always paint the trailer no no not what you're thinking we paint a line because if you don't paint the line and shake it up maybe the paint's no good well, that's going to be interesting. Maybe I keep shaking. We paint a line on the trailer so then they know where center is. If you don't know where center is on the trailer, you'll end up with uh, two foot on this side and a foot off this side. Which isn't too bad until you just keep loading and I guess we're just going to have a little stream today. It still helps because you can see it in the tractor. So we're going to continue with this. All right, so now we've got the line painted, if you guys can kind of see that there. Oh yeah, how do you like that? Customization. Anyway, we got the line painted, so now all we gotta do is just wait for Justice to load the hay bales, and uh, he'll be able to get them in the center a lot easier. So then, uh, loads, loads right correctly, so there's not weight distributed on one side of the trailer and not the other. Alright guys, so by the way, the reason he has the hay bale on the back is because it counterbalances and it's a weight for the back so then the back end of the tractor is not near as as light, so then when he picks up a bale on the front end, the back end doesn't try to go in the air. So, with that said, let me get down here and we just got finished loading a load of hay. So, here's what a fully loaded, we can sometimes get one up there, but uh, we're just traveling a shorter distance so we won't have to be getting one up there and won't have to be pushing the weight so much on the trailer so with that said let's go see where injustice is loading the hay trailer
marks on that county road where we drag raced our pickups and Mustangs and weathered all Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how we haul hay. Not saying it's the right way, but it's the way we do it. We also use a semi sometimes when we can get in the locations, but these were a few little smaller piles of hay, and so we didn't get it done. Uh, we were able to move about 150 bales is how... Uh, what you guys get saw getting moved there we can fit 14 on uh the pickup and gooseneck and we can fit let's see trying to add it up here we can fit 13 12 on the tr trailer and then one on the front of the tractor so we can haul a total of 27 bales at a time between the two rigs so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button subscribe comment if you have any advice or questions please don't hesitate to comment we'd be happy to hear from you and uh hope you guys have an awesome day